Hi, do you want to sound like a solar expert? If you do, keep watching this video till the end to find out about my favorite tools that almost anyone with the slightest interest in solar energy can use. In this video, we are going to explore the software available to calculate solar energy that falls on your roof and many of these tools are completely free. So by the end of the video, you will be able to give an expert's opinion to your family, friends and neighbors and tell them exactly how much money can be made with solar energy falling on their rooftops. On this channel Synergy Files, we aim to inspire people towards engineering and technology for a better, more sustainable world. Subscribe to get the updates of our latest videos. Now there are a variety of tools on the internet. Many are available for a fee while others are totally free. The level of detail and accuracy of these tools vary. There are certain factors that have a very strong bearing on the estimation of solar resource. They are the location, mainly the latitude, the inclination of the panels, and the orientation that is the direction that the panel is facing. All the tools take these three fundamental factors into account. The more accurate software also factor in other topographic and landscape details like the presence of trees, hills and buildings that can cause shading and reduce the output. Solar resource estimation tools have been available online for more than a decade. However, a breakthrough was made when Google launched its own tool called Project Sunroof in August 2015 that was totally free. It used the data from Google Maps to very accurately estimate the local solar irradiation. At the time of the launch, it featured only three cities in the US with plans to extend it further. It has since expanded but is still not global. The way it works is that first the postcode, zip code or address is fed into the software. This takes you to the satellite image of your house. You can then select which side of the roof you would like your panels to be installed. The software will work out the available area itself and calculate how many panels can be installed. It will report how much money can be saved and even provide you with a list of local suppliers. After the launch of Project Sunroof by Google, there were other third-party tools that latched onto the idea of using Google Maps for solar resource estimation. This included furniture giant IKEA who launched their online software mainly to cater for users in the UK. Also, after the merger with SolarCity, Tesla launched a tool but later retracted it from the public domain. In addition to Project Sunroof, the other free tools that one can benefit from are IKEA Sunroof Calculator, PV Watts by Endrel, the Open PV Project also by Endrel, and Solar Energy Calculator by the Energy Saving Trust. Most of these tools also work out the annual savings and payback period. They can also factor in the battery backup option should you need one. If you are away from your home during the daytime and don't use energy during the day, that is also considered. The more accurate tools will calculate the hourly solar resource for the whole year, while the less accurate ones will rely on daily or monthly averages. So for example, in Google's Project Sunroof, which is comparatively more accurate, the number of hours a panel remains shaded throughout the year due to nearby obstacles is calculated. This is then omitted from the sunshine hours. For most of these tools, you can set up and get results in less than a minute. I would urge you to go ahead and try at least one of them. You can also do a comparative analysis for the results you find from different tools. I will quickly do an example here for you. This is the IKEA tool. I key in my postcode. Up comes the satellite image of my locality. I select my rooftop, define my orientation and roof pitch angle. I also tell it about the building type, single story, double story, etc. And if it has a garage on the side. This is just to find out how complex would it be to install the system and what are the scaffolding needs. Next, I will tell what time I would use the energy and if I would charge an electric car or not. Voila, we have our results. You can see that the saving will depend upon the type of the panels I choose and whether or not I go for a battery backup system. 
We have already done a video on Red Screen, which is a much broader tool and one of the best renewable energy software that is available for free. Other than PV, it can also work feasibility for solar water heaters and even wind turbine. Please also check that out. There is no doubt that before deciding to go for a PV system installation, it's good practice to make sure how much you will be saving. You can also make a decision of adding a battery backup and find out if it's worth paying more for it based on your pattern of energy use and availability of net metering. The PV installation companies can also calculate the solar resource for you, but do remember that many of the time the results are exaggerated for boosting sales and closing deals, so it's best to do it yourself. And with this, the video is concluded. I hope you would have learned something from this video. If you did, please do hit the like button. Thank you for your attention.